We're just a few hours away from the polls opening up as the city of Atlanta decides its next mayor. So the runoff election is featuring Atlanta City Council President Felicia Moore and Atlanta Councilman Andre Dickens. We heard from both candidates earlier tonight. Joe Ripley is live for us from Atlanta City Hall with what you can expect when you wake up in the morning to head out to the polls. Joe. Yeah, we're expecting around this time tomorrow night, Jennifer and Ron, that uh, we should know unofficially at least who the next mayor of Atlanta will be. In the run-up to the runoff tomorrow, we heard from both candidates tonight about their mindset heading into tomorrow. We got the energy, the momentum to win. On the eve of the runoff that will decide the 61st mayor of Atlanta. I su suspect that uh, we will do very well in the polls and it won't be very close. Candidates Atlanta City Council President Felicia Moore and Atlanta City Councilman Andre Dickens make their final push. So I've been knocking on doors, making phone calls, making speeches, standing in backyards and in any space I can to share that we need to all use our voice to vote. The general election November 2nd saw less than 22 percent of eligible voters turn out to the polls. More garnered 40% of the vote to Dickens 22.5%. A new 11 Alive Survey USA poll showed Moore leading Dickens 46 to 40%. At a gathering of faith leaders, Dickens said despite unfavorable poll numbers, he's beaten the odds before to get to this point. I'm a unifier. I'm inclusive. I solve problems, unlike my opponent who hasn't done much on her 24 years in city council. I'm not going to be in the suites of City Hall. I'm going to be in the streets of the city of Atlanta. And so they're going to have many opportunities and everything that I do, we will have a robust community input process. The mayoral runoff will be one of the last races overseen by Fulton County Elections Director Richard Barron, who will resign at the end of the year amid months of controversy at the polls. Both candidates are not concerned. I'm not concerned about the fraud because we've got a lot of eyes and people that are watching. They will make sure that they do the vote count right, and if they don't, we'll be sure to make, uh, make them aware of it. Most polls in the city of Atlanta open at 7 in the morning and remain open until 8 tomorrow evening. If you'd like to learn more about the candidates, their record, their platform and policies, just head to 11alive.com.